Hello, and welcome to check it out with Rich. Uh, we finally got the stove in. Uh, if you haven't watched the video, I will put a link in the description for it. Uh, took a lot of work, but uh, you happy? I'm very happy. Okay, very good. Okay, we want to do a review on the stove. Um, what do you think so far? I love it so far. So far? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, this is, let me get my notes up here. This is a Contour Deluxe Gas Range. It is model number AGR-24TCS. And let me just go over some of the specs with it. Um, I can't remember all this. Okay, it is 3.75 cubic foot. Um, the width of it is 23.9 inches. The height without the legs is 34.4 inches. Height with the legs is 35.6 to 36.6 height. The depth is 26.9 from the handle. Can you see that? Barely? Yeah. Okay, from the handle to the very back. Now, you need a little bit of clearance off the wall from it. They actually come with, um, I forget what they call them, pads or something. But they're just uh, some rubber things you screw on to the back. And they are 0.7. So if you leave it off the wall an inch, you're, you're good. Okay, gross weight. Now, I don't know what they mean by gross and net. But uh, gross weight is 168.7 pounds. And net is 146.6. So I don't know how they're coming up with the two, whether it's taking the grates off and the um, grates in the oven. I have no idea. Uh, the burners, front right is 12,000 BTU. Front left is 9,000 BTU. Right rear is 3,500 BTU. And left rear is 6,000 BTU. The oven is 12 thousand BTU so it's a half decent oven this is my favorite burner this is your favorite burner it is that's the hottest yeah that's probably why I like it okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so safety features um I, I actually tested this out this has a it's called a flame failure device and basically it's a thermocoupler so what it is is if you have your burner on and it goes out in nine seconds your gas valve shuts off now I've tested it I lit it up blew it out with some paper towels didn't catch them on fire <laughs> and flame went out and it was roughly nine seconds the gas shut off okay I called uh, our friends Dave and Rosetta they have the same camper and they have the same stove that we did and um, I asked her, she kind of chuckled when I asked her, but um, I asked her to turn her stove on and get a newspaper or something and blow the flame out. And she didn't want the gas going too long, but it was, she had the gas on for a while and then finally she turned it off. So the gas didn't shut off in the amount of time she had. I don't know if it would have turned off. Supposedly, they're supposed to turn off between 45 and 60 seconds. Starting in 2026, it's going to be an industry standard that they have to shut off in nine seconds, I believe it is. So this stove is already updated for that. And you ask me, that is an excellent uh, safety feature. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you never know. You know, um, you're, right. out, you're outside, the flame goes out, you just got gas pouring in for even if it is 45 to 60 seconds. That's a lot of gas. What were you going to say? I was going to say, or if you have the window open and it blows it out. Yeah, 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 there's all kinds of scenar scenarios on that. Okay, it also came with uh, four cleats for the feet. So it's they're for anti-tipping. Uh, normally, when you buy one for your house, you have one for the ver two for the back, and that's to stop it from tipping over. This comes with four. So once I got the back set, I got exactly where I wanted it. I put the two on the front. And it's locked on. It is not going anywhere. Okay, now for uh, just general uh, things about the stove. Um, it comes with heavy cast grates, which I'll tell you what, these they things are. are pretty solid. Um, the knobs are metal. They're not a cheap plastic. 
I don't know how well the graphics will hold up on them. Um, I guess we'll find out. And the knobs are also illuminated. There's little blue lights up here that shine down on them. Um, we never really looked to turn in the dark to see how well they illuminate, but they seem pretty bright in the light. Okay, this also has a uh, true ceramic coating. I'm going to show you the inside. Okay, this is a true ceramic coating. Um, it's not paint like what's on a uh, cheap set of uh, cookware. Show you with the light on. What do you think of the blue, Beck? I like the blue. Okay. Would have matched my fireplace. What? I said it would have matched the old fireplace. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I think with that being a true ceramic coating, I think it would be a lot easier to keep clean um, rather than that paint. You know how if you bought a cheap set of uh, ceramic coated cookware, they're junk, you know, spend the money. But anyway, yeah, I, I think it'd be a lot uh, easier to keep clean. And it also came with a drawer in the bottom, which is also a warmer. I'll take you down. Good. Back. Open her up. Okay. Oh, what's that? This is a pizza pan that also comes with the oven. I really like this because it has the holes in it. So I got a tube of pizza crust because I was cheating. And normally when you make those tubes, pizza crusts, like they're still a little mushy on the bottom if you have them on a pan. But I put it on here, put it in the oven, and it was... So we're gonna put a video in now of us cooking the pizza. Okay, so my new stove came with this 12 inch pizza pan. It has holes in it. It feels like it's non-stick, um, like Teflon. So I'm gonna make a pizza for lunch today and see how it works with the new oven. I'm cheating and I'm using Hillsbury pizza crust instead of making my own for time's sake. Um, but we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. So the oven's heating up. I'm gonna get this formed to the pan the crust says to grease the pan, to grease any size non-stick cookie sheet. So I'm probably just gonna spray it just because. Okay, so step one was to pre-cook the crust. So there's my crust. Let's see. Oh yeah. Looks good. Golden brown under there. Evenly golden brown, hot. Okay. So we're gonna put the toppings on, finish it off, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, pizza's done, so let's get it out. Ooh, looks good. Let's take a look underneath. Look at that. Ah, can you see that? Perfect golden brown all the way around. So, I say two thumbs up. Here's the warming drawer. Uh, there are no burners there, so it's not a broiler. It's just for storage, but it's a nice option. You know, you can put your uh, smaller pans in there and that. And uh, when Becky's cheesy potatoes are done, we can put it down. Okay, another nice thing is supposedly when you order this, you can order it with the fitting that you need for your... Uh, hose so whether it's uh three eighths or half inch so that way there if you order it it comes in normally you need a fitting you got to run to lowe's or the orange store this way here you order it with the fitting you need 
just make sure your sizing. This was a three eighths, and uh, I, I think I think it's pretty nice. Uh, they put they put it on. They used the um, gas um, Teflon tape, the yellow tape, so that was good. Okay, now for usage, I'm gonna turn that over to Becky. So I have used it quite a few times. And the first time I used it, I was curious because we know that the small ovens that come with your unit take forever to heat up. And then we found out that once they do heat up, you have to leave it go like 15 or 20 minutes to, in order for to it to hang up. on to that heat <laughs> when you put something in it. So I timed it when I turned it on. It went up to 350 degrees in six minutes. And that's and pretty good? And it stayed there. And that's it, very good. That's very good. Yeah. I mean, that's about on par with the oven in the house. Is it? it takes, yeah, about five minutes or so to and heat And then up. the old oven that was here? Mm-hmm. I never timed it, but like I said, once you finally got it up to temperature, then before you could even put something in it, you had to wait another 15, 20 minutes, or when you put something in it, that it dropped. Okay. So this... Yeah, as soon as it came up to temp, I threw something in, and I do have that thermometer in there so I could keep an eye on it. And the knob was pretty true, just maybe a little, I had to turn it a little before 350, but that may be. Okay, that's good. Yeah, just, but well, it, the knob is pretty true to the temp. Well, a lot of times that's depending on your ambient temperature around it, so it right. might have been hotter, and then it got up the temperature a little quicker, um, maintained. If it's colder, it might be mm -hmm. a little different. Yeah, so I really like it. I made my cheesy potatoes in there. I made pork chops. I made the pizza. I know there was other stuff, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, so I love it. Okay. Yeah, so I would give it two thumbs up. Okay. Um, this is supposed to be sold through Camping World. From what I understand, um, Camping World has been shipped these stoves but they are not on our website yet. Uh, when they do become available, I, would, I will put a link in the description. But for right now, if you are interested, you can either PM me or reply to this video on uh, YouTube, and I will send your information to Bill from Contour, and he will get in touch with you. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, pricing goes, I have no idea what it cost. Uh, this was given to us. Mm -hmm. Uh, we it was right time, right place, and we got that and the micro, convection microwave, which we will be doing a uh, review on next. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you to Bill from Contour. Yes. For, I mean, this was the one thing that I wanted when we bought this camper that I didn't get. So it's perfect. I love it. So thank you, Bill. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Contour. Okay, so that's our review. And matter of fact, our last trip that we went on, she liked it so much. Mm -hmm. I asked her if she wanted me to set up the Blackstone outside, and she said no. And that's really, mm -hmm. <laughs> we love our Blackstone. So anyway, uh, thank once again, thanks for checking it out. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.